So today we will be working on this 2013 Kawasaki Ninja 1000. So first we're gonna go ahead and get this thing taken apart because everything is white, it's now gonna be yellow. And also we're gonna take off the clutch basket case um, because the bike seems like it's slipping, but we're gonna do that in another video. But first I wanna show you how to get this thing off. And also we have a new employee. This is Mojo. He's four months old, uh, green vervet monkey. So you will be seeing him in all of the videos and he will be assisting me with handing wrenches and all that good stuff. So guys, let's go waste no time. Let's go ahead and get to it. First, I wanna start off taking off the rear seat and the front seat. Then we're gonna hit the windscreen and the gas tank. We're gonna remove those first and I'm gonna show you step by step of how to do that. Pretty much, if you don't know, now you know, the front seat is held on by these two bolts here and it'll come right off. One thing I like to do to ensure that everything goes, all the screws go back in the right spot, I just take this, put the screws in the spot and just put tape on it and then that'll let me know where that needs to go. Or you can put it in a sandwich bag and also label, you know, for seats or whatnot. Uh, you can do the same thing as well, but I'm just gonna put tape on it. The rear tail is being held on by these four screws here. So I'm just gonna pop those out and then the tail will come right off. It's a little side handlebars or whatever they called. They only held on by these two on this side. I don't know if we're gonna put these back on. I think this is gonna come off and we're gonna condense the tag bracket to a smaller one, something sleek. So we also got a lot of plans for this bike. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that post notification so you don't miss any videos. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we got, so just to give everybody an update what we got going on this bike, we gotta take it apart, paint it, fix the clutch baskets, which I think that's what's wrong with it, why it won't shift correctly. And then we're gonna go ahead and lower it and put uh, extensions on the swing arm. I'm gonna have to fire my assistant. Mojo. Hey, you taking this screw off down there? Yeah? Yeah, I need you to help me down there, bro. Take off those bolts down there. Take off this tag bracket here. You're gonna loose, uh, take out these four bolts here, and then the tag bracket will come down. Apparently, when I was trying to take down this tail, the two bolt, the four bolts that were up here, actually there's two more bolts under here. So I think the easiest part is now, the undertail is ready to come off. So it's gonna detach away from the subframe. So in order to do that, we just gotta take these two bolts off here and then the whole sub, the whole undertail will come out. <clears throat> so now the undertail will be sitting in this position. Uh, so now you just need to unhook all of your wires. This is held on by clips. You push that down, pull it out. And this one, you push that one down. You push that one down, pull it out. And this is the whole computer system right here. You should be able to just take it off from here, from this point. And over here, you can leave everything else attached and it all comes out as one piece. So I pull it off just like that, see, all together. If you stuck at this point where it's already set down and you still got everything wired, you still have room to get to these bolts to pull out this tag, um, the tag bracket. So you don't really have to drop the whole uh, undertail. So you don't really have to take off the computer and disconnect any wires. All you have to do is just focus on uh, getting these two Allen screws and that will pull off the tag bracket. And then also to change the tail light, you just take off these two, bolt, two bolts right here and disconnect that wire that connects to your headlight, tail light. What's up boss man? There's my boss. So he is inspecting, seeing what I'm doing, making sure that I'm doing it right. Mojo, what do you got in your mouth? There's no telling what he has in his mouth. So he had his Anything he eats, he put them in the side of his pockets to hold it for later. Think off, I'm not sure why Kawasaki did this. Um, it's too tight right here. So if I take these bolts off and this, I would take the risk of scratching up my tank. Um, I know this cover needs to come off too as well before you take off the tank. So the easiest way, if you have your bike already nice and pretty, but you wanna take the, bike, uh, the tank off, you're gonna have to take off the fairings first. So the outside fairings, we're gonna go next, take those off, and then that'll make it easier for us to take the tank off. This dash cover here, which it should be one, two, three, four. So now we had a dash cover off, now you'll be able to see everything you need to get to. This is supposed to be a screw here, but somebody must have this loose before, then put the screw back there or on the other side, but you will see a screw here to remove the fairing as well. Outside of the fairing, and it's pretty cool, after you pull, 
pull, you don't have to pull these little pull clips out here. From there, you just pull them out. So basically it was like this, and you just pull them out like that. And it seems like you just pull it out just like that. Right here, which covers up all of the tank parts. Uh, that screw in here and that screw in here and that pops right off. And then you're gonna repeat the process to the other side, like I said before. And then I'm gonna show you how to take off the front fairing piece and then in the tank and that'll be it. Okay, so now we got both sides off and simple and easy way to take off the tank is these two right here. And then this, and I'm gonna show you underneath what all needs to be taken apart to remove the tank uh, from here. And also we gotta go inside and check out the fuel pump in this thing and maybe it needs a new filter. Don't know yet, but I'll let you guys know once we on another video of what all it needs to happen for the fuel tank. So stay tuned for that. All right, so once you get all your bolts off of your tank, that one and these two, I'm just gonna lift it up. I lift it up like a little hinge here. So for this, you're gonna take your finger, or you might have to get a screwdriver. So yeah, you're just gonna get a screwdriver, pull this tab back, and then your fuel line is ready to come off. And then you, you just wanna pull out your return line too. Here to hold the fuel pump in, then you're ready to remove your fuel pump. Okay, so we almost finished. I just need to remove this windscreen. Now that I got the windscreen off, now I'm going to remove this cover here. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the bolts that's inside that holds this whole light. Uh, show you what holds this whole front end together. So the front end is actually pretty simple. Just have to remove the, the bolts right here for the mirrors. What you're going to do, that one is two on that side. And then you have one screw that is well right behind this wire i don't know if y'all guys can see it but it's a screw over on that side let's see that screw right there so you're going to remove that screw and then that'll that will release it from the light you're going to do that on both sides so before you can completely remove this you need to disconnect all the lights and the light bulbs from the wiring harness so these clips just pop these clips off and come off just like that and then you'll be able to remove the whole front cap i says i'm gonna go ahead and wet sand and buff i mean <clears throat> the next phase in this process i'm gonna go ahead and sand all of the white pieces detach them away from the black so i can just only have just the white pieces so i can go ahead and paint those pieces and then get those installed back on the bike um, so on the next video i'm gonna be working on the clutch to see what's going on in there why the bike is not pulling correctly seems like it's shift uh slipping like i said before so we're gonna figure that out. So guys, that's pretty much it. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that post notification so you don't miss any videos. And just like that, we're done. I'll see you on the next video.